Discover the captivating story of Billy Wright, a football legend whose journey from Ironbridge to international fame defined an era. Wright's legacy at Wolverhampton Wanderers and England is legendary. Beyond his on-field brilliance, delve into his life's challenges, including his battle with cancer, leading to his untimely death. Join us in exploring the life and legacy of Billy Wright, a true icon whose impact on football remains unmatched. Billy Wright was born in Ironbridge, Shropshire, where the iconic bridge and industrial heritage shaped the backdrop of his early life. In this serene setting, he first touched a football, sparking a passion that would come to define his existence. His family, supportive yet unacquainted with the lavish world of professional sports, played a pivotal role in his early interest in football. They weren't wealthy, but they provided the encouragement and love that fueled Billy's dreams. As a child, Wright was not merely kicking a ball for amusement. He was showing signs of an innate understanding of the game, impressing those who watched him play in local fields, at school and for community teams. His natural ability was clear, setting him apart from peers and establishing him as a standout talent in the local football scene. Ironbridge, despite its limited sporting facilities, was where Billy honed his skills, driven by a mixture of raw talent and sheer determination. His family's backing was crucial, instilling values of hard work and humility that would guide his entire career. Billy's football journey escalated when he caught the attention of Wolverhampton Wanderers scouts. Joining their youth ranks marked his first step into organised football, transitioning from the casual games of his hometown to the structured environment of a professional club. Progressing through Wolverhampton's youth system, Wright showcased leadership and a deep comprehension of the game, qualities that would later define his career. His professional debut with the club wasn't just a personal milestone. It was a testament to his growth from a young boy in Ironbridge to a footballer of professional stature, ready to face the challenges and triumphs that awaited him in the sport. Billy Wright's professional football career started at Wolverhampton Wanderers, where he became a lifelong member. His journey into professional football was guided by some of the sport's top managers, who quickly saw his potential. At Wolverhampton, Wright became an essential part of the team, where his growing skills were carefully developed. Right from the start, Wright showed a strong commitment and desire to improve. His deep understanding of football, along with his physical and mental strength, helped him make a big impact on the team early on. As he gained skills and experience, Wright became a key defender and leader for Wolverhampton Wanderers. His ability to make smart tactical decisions became crucial to the team's success. Wright's development at the club turned him from a promising young player into a key figure known for his defensive skills and leadership. He played in important matches like big league games and cup finals, where he proved his abilities and strengthened his reputation. Wright's leadership on the field was about inspiring his teammates and leading them through tough matches with confidence and smart planning. His excellent performance at Wolverhampton Wanderers led to recognition at the national level, earning him a spot on the England national team. Internationally, Wright confirmed his status as a top defender, playing for England with great pride and distinction. His consistent high-level play, both in club and international games, highlighted his outstanding abilities. Billy Wright's rise to fame is a story of personal talent and his ability to improve the whole team's play. His defensive work was paired with a natural skill to affect the game's outcome, using his football smarts and leadership. This made Wright a celebrated figure in football, known for his contributions to both Wolverhampton Wanderers and the England national team. Wright's career with England was extraordinary, as he earned an impressive 105 international caps, a record at the time, making him the first player ever to reach this milestone. This achievement highlighted his consistency, skill and importance to the national team over many years. As a player for England, Wright was not just part of the team. He was often its leader, especially in big tournaments. His leadership was crucial in major competitions like the World Cup, where he represented his country with pride and distinction. Wright's ability to stay calm under pressure, make smart decisions, and inspire his teammates made him a standout captain and a respected figure in international football. Billy's role in the England team was about more than just playing defence. He was the backbone of the team, organising the play, guiding younger players, and setting an example of professionalism and dedication. His presence on the field brought confidence to the team, helping England compete against the best teams in the world. Wright's international career was filled with memorable moments that cemented his status as one of England's greatest players. His leadership and performances in international matches earned him widespread recognition and respect, 
Not just from fans in England, but from football lovers around the world, Billy Wright's football career was filled with remarkable milestones that solidified his status as a footballing legend. One of his most notable achievements was leading Wolverhampton Wanderers to three league titles. These victories were not just triumphs for the team, but also personal achievements for Wright. As captain of Wolverhampton, Wright was a central figure in the team's golden era during the 1950s. His leadership on the field was instrumental in securing the first division championships in 1953-54, 1957-58, and 1958-59. These titles were a testament to the team's skill, determination, and Wright's effective leadership. Beyond the league titles and international caps, Wright's individual accolades further reflect his impact on the sport. He was named the Footballer of the Year, an honour that acknowledges his outstanding performances and professionalism. His ability to perform at an elite level consistently both for club and country made him a standout player of his generation. Wright's legacy in football is also marked by the respect and admiration he received from fans, teammates and opponents alike. His fair play, leadership and gentlemanly demeanour both on and off the pitch contributed to his lasting reputation as one of the game's greats. Billy Wright, during his football career, faced many tough situations, including the stress of playing at a very high level and always needing to do well for both his club and country. Being a key player for Wolverhampton Wanderers and England, Wright was under constant pressure to perform well in every game. As the captain of his club, he had to lead his team effectively and show good performance consistently, which was challenging both mentally and physically. Moreover, juggling the busy schedules of club football, cup tournaments and international matches was a big challenge. Wright had to stay in top shape and quickly recover from any injuries or tiredness because of the non-stop nature of his football commitments. Playing for England, Wright faced additional pressure. He had to compete against some of the best players in the world, proving his abilities at an international level. As the national team captain, he also had the important job of bringing together players from different clubs and motivating them to perform as a united team. Despite these pressures, Wright managed to keep playing brilliantly throughout his career. His ability to handle the intense demands of top-tier football and live up to the expectations of being a consistent top performer demonstrated his true strength and commitment to the sport. After retiring from playing, Billy Wright took on new roles that allowed him to stay connected to football. He ventured into management, where he could pass on his knowledge and passion for the game to others. Managing provided him with fresh challenges and allowed him to see the sport from a different perspective, influencing players and teams with his vast experience. Wright's legacy in football goes beyond his playing and managerial careers. He is celebrated for his sportsmanship, leadership, and the way he carried himself both on and off the field. His name remains synonymous with integrity and respect in the football world. In his later years, Wright also contributed to football through media work, sharing his insights and analysis of the game. This role allowed him to stay in touch with the sport he loved and continue to influence its fans and players. Billy Wright's personal life was as rich and fulfilling as his professional career, marked by close personal relationships and a deep connection to the football community. Beyond the pitch, he was a family man, known for his strong ties to his loved ones, which provided him with a solid foundation and support system throughout his life and career. Wright married Joy Beverly of the Beverly Sisters, a famous singing trio, in 1958. Their marriage was a significant part of his life, blending the worlds of sport and entertainment and bringing him into the public eye even off the football field. Together, they shared a life that, while public, was grounded in mutual respect and love. Away from football, Wright had a variety of interests that showcased a different side of his personality. He was known to have a passion for golf, which not only served as a leisure activity, but also as a way to connect with friends and fellow sports enthusiasts. His involvement in golf and other social activities highlighted his love for sports in general and his enjoyment of competitive yet friendly atmospheres. Wright's connection to the football community remained strong even after his playing days were over. He was deeply respected within the sport, not just for his achievements on the field, but also for his demeanour and integrity. His insights and experiences were highly valued, and he often participated in football-related events, sharing his knowledge and continuing to influence the sport he loved. 
Billy Wright's later years were marked by health battles that he faced with the same dignity and strength he exhibited on the football field. He was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, a serious and aggressive illness that ultimately led to his passing. Wright's health decline began to be noticeable in the early 1990s, and despite the efforts of medical professionals and the support of his family and friends, the cancer progressed. His struggle with the disease was a difficult time for him and those close to him, but he faced it with courage. Billy Wright passed away on September 3, 1994, at the age of 70. His death was a significant loss to the football world and to those who knew him personally. He is remembered not only for his incredible achievements in football, but also for his character, resilience, and the way he handled the challenges life threw at him, including his final health battle. His passing has raised awareness about health issues, including the importance of cancer research and treatment. While Wright did not publicly advocate for health-related causes during his lifetime, his battle with pancreatic cancer has highlighted the need for ongoing research and support in this area, continuing his impact beyond his years. Billy Wright's character and leadership both on and off the pitch have left an indelible mark on the world of football. Renowned for his integrity, sportsmanship and tactical intelligence, he set a standard for future generations of players. Wright's legacy extends far beyond his impressive record of appearances and titles. He is a symbol of dedication, inspiring footballers and fans alike. His contributions to club and country and his influence on football's heritage have cemented his status as a timeless icon in English football history, embodying the true spirit and values of the sport.